Hi, this is Bart Polson. This video is a walkthrough of an exercise from Zed Shaw's book, Learn Python the Hard Way. If you go to learnpythonthehardway.org and either click on read the free HTML online or on this tree diagram, that'll take you to the table of contents, which is right here. In this exercise, we're going to be doing number eight, which is called printing, printing. And if you click on that, it'll take you to this page. And there's not much you have to do, but there's a few things I need to explain as we go through it. Basically, we're going to be using uh, variables. We're going to be using strings that have variables built into them and doing a few variations on it. And I'll explain what happens as we go through. I'm going to go to Text Wrangler. If you're on Windows PC, you'll probably be using Notepad++. And here's what I'm going to do now. I'm, I'm uh, able to just have the stuff jump right in right here. We're creating a variable called formatter. Now that's important because formatter sounds like it's going to be some sort of built-in magic function. It's a variable. And the variable is called formatter. Equals is the assigning oper the assignment operator. And it's getting a string that is composed just of these variable things. The, the percent sign r is a way of getting the raw data uh, or the technically the representation of something. And what's interesting about that, and the reason that he uses, is it can actually read any kind of data. It can read characters, it can read string, it can read floating points, it can read other variables. And so it makes it uh, very flexible. It is, however, not generally made for displaying data, but it's used as a, Zed says, it works best as a debugging device. But um, it works well for this exercise, so we're going to go ahead and use it. The first thing is to do this, to use the function print, which means it's going to display it in the console, either the terminal on a Mac or PowerShell on a Windows PC. And then it says print formatter. That's the name of the variable that we have right here. See, that's that's that one right there. And then this calls out the, um, the variables because we have these little built-in things right here that we put into it. And what it says is replace those with the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. Remember, with... Uh, Numbers, you don't need to put them in quotes. Uh, if you do put them in quotes, it reads them as strings and it processes it differently. But this just reads them as numbers. The next one, we do the same thing. We're going to print another line. Again, we're calling the string variable formatter that we defined above, except this time we're feeding into it the words one, two, three, four. And you'll see that they have double quotes around them to indicate that they're strings. After that, we're going to use the uh, variable again. Uh, formatter, except this time we're feeding into it uh, true and false, which are built-in keywords. And that's why they don't have quotes around them, because it actually recognizes them as Boolean values of, of true or false. And then um, we're going to do a funny one where we actually call on itself. We're going to call formatter on itself. And so it's going to be going back to fill in these, these uh, representation variables. It's going to go back to itself. And what you're going to find is that it actually reads this now as literal text as opposed to something to fill in. So it doesn't get into this sort of uh, infinite regress. And then finally, we're going to fill it in with a few strings. Uh, formatter, and then we're going to have the first one be, I had this thing that you could type up right, but it didn't sing, so I said goodnight. And it's going to plug each of those in. By the way, it's split up into several lines, so the line doesn't go over 80 characters in a line, which is considered bad form in Python. Um, so as that informs us. So I'm going to come over here. Uh, my working directory, I'm currently in my scripts directory. So that's good. I'm going to clear that out with command K. I type in Python and I type in exo8.py because that's the name of the file. See, here's the file down here. And there's its contents, which you can see are the same as what we have over here. Anyhow, I press return. And there we have it. We have the numbers one, two, three, four. Please notice it does not print the commas. And it puts a space between them because when you do commas, it does that. And then we have the words one, two, three, four. And please note, they now have single quotes around them, whereas we specify them with double quotes. Zed explains it this way. He says that Python, when it's using the representation thing, it's going to use the most efficient way of showing something, which in this case is going to be single quotes. So it switches over to that. If you want to have double quotes, you could do something called escaping and have them be part of the string, but that's a that's a different issue. Then we have our true, false, true, false. Again, no quotes around those because those are keywords, not variables. And then the one where we call formatter on itself in a you know meta kind of way, what we do is we get the text of the formatter thing, which is the percent %r, 
uh, repeated four times. And then finally, we have the quotes that get spelled out as a single long line. And they, they come out as a single line because we have a single command printer and comma separating each one of them. If we specify them as separate lines, then they would print out separately. Anyhow, that's about all there is for exercise eight. I hope that's been helpful.